Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're doing amazing. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my makeup collection. Please don't judge. This is literally what I do for a living, which is why my collection has evolved so much and why there is a lot of products. And I'm showing this because I asked um, in my house tour if you wanted to see like a separate makeup collection video and a lot of you said yes. So your wish is my command. And before we get into it though, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you are notified whenever I have a new video out and without any further ado let's jump right into it okay so in here I have all of my concealers we have uh, my dark shape tape some sugar ones Estee Lauder Maybelline Mac Studio Fix uh, lots of Maybelline actually um, yeah, quite a lot of concealers in there. We've got the Too Faced one, NARS, um, more Maybelline, Eraser, Age Rewind, Makeup Revolution, Lotus, uh, Benefit, LA Girl, Bobbi Brown, more Benefit, uh, the MAC Concealer Palette. Oh, we've got Bobbi Brown and Bolly Glow in there and some NYX too then in here I have all of my foundations the high-end ones um, we also have two of uh, Maybelline's Fit Me some Clinique uh, this is the MAC stick foundation Bobbi Brown stick foundation a lot of MAC studio fixes in different shades um, the Dior foundation Smashbox stick ones Bobbi Brown MAC Estee Lauder makeup forever some Chanel um, Charlotte Tilbury what else more Clinique, more Estee Lauder, so yeah. Then, in here I have all of my glitters and embellishments. Um, all of my loose pigments, these are the MAC ones, some pack ones. Uh, that's my MAC uh, Painterly Paint Pot, some Makeup Revolution uh, glitter pastes, uh, Miss Claire pigments, some more glitter. Uh, these glitters I got from Amazon. I'm going to try and find them and link them for you guys. So they're makeup glitters and I also have like some hearts and stars. Um, in here I have some of my eyeshadow pencils and in here I have some um, single eyeshadows. These are again pressed glitters and the likes. Uh, this is a Kiko single eyeshadow. I've got this NYX Vivid Brights cream eyeshadow which is this gorgeous maroon burgundy color. Um, some more Kiko single packed, packed press glitters, um, like basically random single eyeshadows. This is a Catrice mint blue eyeshadow. Um, then eyeshadow pencils. Uh, these are my MAC single eyeshadows. Here I have all of my Suba Beauty Hydra FX um, and these um, Jeffree Star lipsticks. They're all in different colors and i usually use them to like draw and stuff and these need water to be activated so i keep this dropper here i think this came with like um some skincare product i don't remember now and in here i have all of my liquid metallic eyeshadows um some color bar ones uh yeah uh, these are the mac ones yeah, I really like these and I use them very often and these um, are from Muji and this I think was from Dmart and this I think is from some PR package. Alright, that was a very interesting drawer. Next, uh, we have some more liquid eyeshadows. Uh, these are some Huda Beauty ones, Smashbox, L'Oreal, um, Rimmel and the likes. Uh, some more Huda Beauty ones. And all of my high-end mascaras are here. And some Maybelline ones as well that I use very often. Um, we've got lots of the MAC ones, the K Beauty one, Too Faced, Tarte, Better Than Sex. I also have my Lacme, a mini Bobbi Brown, the Charlotte Tilbury one, Sephora, 
um, this is one of my favorite MAC uh, mascaras yeah quite a lot of them in there then <clears throat> Ooh, we've got eyeshadows. All right, so Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette, Tarte in Bloom, uh, the Mac palettes. Yeah, so just randomly placed them. Tarte in Bloom. We've got the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics, the Naked palette, then the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia palette, some back palettes. Um, in the back, uh, we've got the Modern Renaissance from Anastasia in here as well. What else? We've got one of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault palette. I think I got this from Ankita. And then I've got the Molten Drama palette from Bobbi Brown. Uh, the Smashbox palette I have used so much uh, in here. These are the pack palettes. I really like these palettes. I think they're so good. Um, Ultimate Shadow Box. This I have used so much. The smoky ones. Wait. Then these are more pack palettes. They are really, really nice. Like even this one I've used so much. Pack does some great eyeshadow. Um, this is like a dupe of that MAC palette you just saw earlier. Uh, this is a Huda Beauty Ruby Obsession Neon. Um, I think this is Amethyst Obsession from Huda Beauty. Then I have the Smoky Obsession. This is the Electric Obsession. Um, this is a Bobbi Brown palette. What else? Again, another Bobbi Brown eye palette. We've got the Smashbox Crystal Collection. I think that's the Patrick Star X Mac eyeshadow palette. Yep. Uh, what else? This is a Clinique eyeshadow palette. One more Clinique one. And this is the MAC uh, Mischief Minx palette. Yeah, we've also got the Makeup Revolution Tammy X uh, Revolution Tropical Carnival Shadow Palette. Oh my god, that was a mouthful. And I've got the Aladdin X MAC Collection. This is the MAC Tropic Cool Times 9 Palette. I've got uh, this back eyeshadow um, magnetic sort of palette where I can place all of my back eyeshadows. Uh, the colorful ones are behind so I've just kept it there and then underneath it's a similar palette from back all right then we have more eyeshadows here this is my limited edition Game of Thrones Urban Decay eyeshadow palette that I haven't touched yet um, I've got the Too Faced Pretty Rich eyeshadow I have uh, one more of this back eyeshadow from Nika ones, Lacme. This Burberry one is actually one of the most expensive eyeshadow palettes I own. I found out while I was making a TikTok video. Some NYX ones, this particular one I use so much. I love the colors in this. Uh, some more MAC ones. I think these are the Manish Malotra ones, yeah, with my glam. And uh, this is the Maybelline palette, uh, Lacme Infinity eyeshadow, that's again in Lacme one. Uh, what do we have here? This is my Colourpop Cute AF palette that I've used so much. Can you tell how dirty this is? Um, I've traveled so much with it. It, it. it used to be white and look at that now. I love that yellow in there. And what else? Uh, this is a crown cosmetics palette. I think this is a Cryolan one. Cream eyeshadows. Then we've got the Makeup Revolution Salvation palette, which I would highly, highly recommend for beginners. It's a beautiful palette. This is a Makeup Revolution colorful one as well. Some more Nika ones. Um, what else? Oh, this is another one of my pack palettes that I have lost the lid to. Uh, we've got some sugar palettes in here. Um, really like the sugar palettes too. Oh, this is a body glow one. I've never really used this body glow one actually. I forgot. And 
and these are the new Nika ones that I haven't actually had the chance to try yet. Um, what else? Then we've got this Makeup Revolution uh, Amplified Pro HD palette. Oh, I've got one of my favorite palettes. This is one of my favorite palettes. Look at that. Look how beautiful that packaging is. I think it's called High Tides or something. High Tides and Good Vibes palette. Wait. Look how stunning this palette is. This blue right here is everything. Also the glitters are really nice and I got this in sale in Sephora when I was traveling. I just love the packaging. All right, uh, this is another pa uh, palette that I haven't actually used. It's from MAC. Flame Buoyant palette. Then I've got this um, Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Plate. Juvia's Place. And I've got this Makeup Revolution uh, glitter, pressed glitter palette. Wait, it's quite pretty. This one. And then I've got the Clara Cosmetics palette. I think this is quite a basic palette as well. Never really used it. All right, so that's everything in there. We've got last three drawers left. So this is where I keep all of my blushes, as the name suggests. Um, all right, where do we even begin? So this is the Too Faced Natural Face palette that I use a lot. And this is the new Too Faced Peach uh, blush that I received. So it didn't fit anywhere in here, so it's just like chilling here. This is the YBP X Shreya Jane um, color creams that I really, really like. These are so good. I love and have used them quite a bit. This is a blush stick from Sugar called Mauve Marvel, which I would highly recommend. Quite a lot of blushes in here, to be honest. So MAC ones uh this is from faces i think it's called cinnamon yeah i love this it's quite nice and some creamy ones yeah creamy essence bobby brown yeah some bobby brown ones got some nika blushes i actually quite like the nika blushes they're really nice is this my back highlighter yeah this is my back highlighter i don't know why it got uh, into the back into the blush section if you guys haven't tried this baked highlighter from back oh my god you're missing out uh some estee lauder then we have rimmel some makeup revolution maybelline sugar i see ofra in there as well this is the l'oreal one and then we've got some blush palettes uh this is the maybelline one this one is from color bar oh my god i remember using this so much this is the new color bar one it's very similar to that previous one that i showed i quite like these color bar ones reminds me of the charlotte tilbury ones um yeah another smashbox blush palette sugar this is an Isadora one that doesn't fit anywhere, so I'm just gonna like push it down there. Uh, some sticks, blush sticks. We've got uh, sugar. Oh no, these are sugar. Those are L'Oreal. We've got some Benefit blushes in here, Dandelion. I think they're called. Is it? Yeah, that is the Dandelion one. Some more uh, Benefit blushes. All of my matte blushes are here. Some old ones in there. Um, this is the Color Bar one that is beautiful. I use this quite a lot it's called sweet scarlet great for beginners and great for everyday looks uh some more color bar ones um yeah some mac x aladdin ones i think this is a face shop one that looks very much like the clinique one yeah but it's really cute and nice and pigmented oh this is one of my favorite blushes it's from bobby brown this is uh, the pot rouge called blushed rose and i've almost hit pan in this i love this product so much and yeah that's my blush <clears throat> all right so moving on to the exciting things i love highlighter it's one of my favorite makeup product and this is 
all of my highlighters uh, this is the new sugar one and I actually quite like this um, these are jelly like they are like jelly and I think there are three colors in this I'm sure they'll be here somewhere um, <clears throat> I love this okay so basically this is a MAC hyper real foundation and it has this purple undertone to it and you can mix it with your foundation or anything and it gives it that luminous effect and I genuinely quite like the Nika Strobin Glow. Uh, the glazed bronze is something that I use very often. We've got some sugar highlighter sticks in here. Um, some more Nika ones. Uh, that is Sunbeam from Benefit. Um, then we've got some Fenty Beauty one. This is Trophy Wife, which is actually broken and shattered because I dropped it. So if I open this, like the entire drawer would be filled with it um, yeah so these are some more of the jelly highlighters this 03 bronze bell weather is actually quite nice and they are very pigmented uh, some more Fenty Beauty highlighter I really like this one the mean money hustla baby is one of my favorite I got I bought this because of Ankita she quite likes this uh, that's my champagne pop okay We've got some Miss Claire ones, uh, that is my Mary Luminizer, uh, I think that's a Guerlain one, uh, one more Mary Luminizer. I love this one, it's Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder, it's such a beautiful highlighter. Then uh, we have this Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighter in Champagne, in Liquid Champagne, it's beautiful. Um, we have... Uh, this one from MAC, I think it's called Soft and Gentle and it's beautiful. I love this one. My favorite MAC highlighters. This one from Lacme is quite nice too. I'm so sad they have discontinued this. Some Faces one. Oh, this is beautiful as well. The Master Holographic um, Prismatic Highlighter from Maybelline has purple undertone in it. So it's quite nice. It's beautiful. Oh, I have love this one from MAC too. Can you see it's broken? Um, beaming blush and it's got this beautiful golden undertone to it. And it's really, really pretty. I don't remember where that one is from. Some more Maybelline Master Chrome. This one is completely shattered. And then I have a new one to replace this. But I, I don't know. I should get rid of this guy. I don't know why it's still here. I'm just attached. I'm, I'm, I'm a hoarder. I really am a hoarder. Oh, we've got this uh, creamy sort of highlighter from MAC. It's called Hush. I think this is uh, a milk highlighter. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I forgot to. I forgot about this. I should use that more often. It's just lying there hidden. Uh, we've got some Benefit Girl Meets Pearl, L'Oreal Lumi. Um, what is this? The face, Faces one. Um, we've got this one called Bonnie Duminizer. And uh, this is the YBB color cream highlighter. What else? Oh, this is the Nika Strobin Glow. I haven't used this color. Uh, this is the NYX a Wavy Glow. It's beautiful. Uh, this is a gloss, actually. This should be here. Um, this is the Estee Lauder one. Oh, even this is really beautiful from the body shop. It's a honey bronze highlighter. It's really pretty. So all of them, like my stick highlighter is here. Those are the milk ones. I've got my, this is my Huda Beauty highlighter palette. And that's the Game of Thrones by Urban Decay highlighter palette. And oh wait. Then behind we have, this is my Too Faced uh, Canary Diamond one. Um, these are the color bar stick highlighters. The new Nika ones, I haven't tried these either. So they're just kept here. Um, we've got some more highlighters back in there. This is the Makeup Revolution Pro highlighter. They were quite the rage. Uh, what else do we have? We've got the faces, blush palette. Things are, oh, I love this. This is the Makeup Revolution Gold highlighter. We've got uh, the Smashbox Crystal Collection Highlighter. Uh, this is uh, like a very disgusting <laughs> Ofra highlighter in Bali. Um, can you tell that I use this quite a lot? This highlighter, if you haven't tried this highlighter guys, you need to try it. It's beautiful. I've got my MAC um, 
contour palette uh, that's my nyx contour palette uh, this is a maybelline contour palette got some sugar contour palette uh, this is the hyper real glow from mac it's beautiful all right then in here i've got more Nykaa highlighters. I actually really like the Nykaa contour highlighter palette. Both the contour and the highlight is really nice in there. I've got some Bobbi Brown highlighters. I think these are all Bobbi Brown. Yeah, these are all Bobbi Brown highlighters. Uh, so yeah, that's my highlighter drawer, which is start starting to get really messy. And last but not the least, we have my bronzers. Not a lot of bronzers, actually. Uh, that's my Charlotte Tilbury film star bronze and glow uh it's like look at that packaging it's so stunning and i actually quite like the bronzer in here then um one of my favorite uh contour is bahama mama really like this for indian skin tone i also really like uh the sugar face contour stick we have um i think this one's from body shop i don't even remember this is a gorilla uh bronzer it's beautiful look at that packaging uh this is the lacme one which actually is fantastic i'm so sad they discontinued that color bar um this is the physician formula one benefit uh hula classic uh we've got this one called bronze goddess from estee lauder it's beautiful what else some more like me faces uh essence mac mac a sephora oh i used to quite like this one some more mac powders and yeah that's all of my bronzers uh these estee lauder one this is my liquid hula this is a contour stick and highlighter stick from mac uh this is again uh do the hula from benefit uh this is i think maybelline contour stick uh this is the bobby brown contour stick what else we've got the nika ah this is the one i was talking about i quite like this it's very nice then we've got the nude finish illuminating powder from bobby brown what else <clears throat> Oh, we've got the L'Oreal one. I think that's my glam. And then I have my Kat Von D contour palette. Uh, my Some more MAC contour palette. And also a Makeup Revolution contour palette. All right. So that's everything for the bronzers and contours. And here I actually have all skincare. And um, that's not makeup really. Actually, I do have some makeup here this is all of my k beauty that i need to like sort out and organize so i have kept it here i'm procrastinating and underneath that i have um my james charles uh palette from morphe and this is the 3 39l hit the lights palette i think these palettes are quite beautiful um has really nice colors even 39L is a beautiful palette, has some glitters in it as well. Yeah, so that's here because these palettes are too big to fit anywhere else and I need to sort out my K-Beauty collection. Oh, in here I also have NYX products, okay? So NYX like used to be one of the most generous uh, people and they would just send so many things in terms of pr and i ended up having like so many next products that i should actually sit down and sort through um so yeah that's everything next in here i don't know why they send me all of the foundation shades yeah they're just like lying here but yeah that's like all next but all of these as you can tell are like skincare so if you guys want me to do like a separate skincare video i would do that um and here i have like my perfumes but in here i have more makeup that i'm going to show you these um drawers are from muji and here i have all of my drugstore mascaras uh, i see rimmel l'oreal um yeah 
got Kiko. I really like this mascara from Kiko. If you guys haven't tried it, you should. It's called Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara. All right. Um, here I have all of my colorful eye pencils. I really like these back ones. Um, these Lacme like new ones are really nice too. This one, uh, the MAC ones are amazing. Even the Nika ones are quite nice and soft. The color bar ones are great. Yeah. Um, then I here I think I have all of my liquid eyeliners. These uh, I think this is the Fenty one, the little black liner from Estee. I think I have a Tom Ford one somewhere. Where is my Tom Ford one? Oh, there it is. I really like. I really like my Tom Ford one. Some Bolly Glow ones. Yeah. So all of that's a Charlotte Tilbury one. Some NYX. Ah, uh, that's the Huda Beauty one. Yeah, quite a lot of black eyeliners that are all in here. Here I have all of my colorful eyeliners. Uh, some L'Oreal ones in the back. Rimmel, Nika, Color Bar, and the likes. In here I have eyebrow things. Anastasia, Benefit, Clara, and Pack. And in here I have like these NYX jumbo white pencils and stuff okay so in here i have more colorful products these are like my k liners some more kajals in there these are like just mixed bags to be honest um my lacme ones and some more kajals in there these are all my drugstore brow products. Uh, NYX, Nika, My Glam, um, and all of that. Sugar. And here I have all of the high end uh, eyebrow pencils. I've got MAC, uh, Benefit. This is the Bobbi Brown one. Anastasia. And then here I have all of my gel liners. I don't know what these two are doing here. They don't belong here. Uh, gel liners and this is a Lacme eyeliner. Here I have all of my sharpeners for all of the different things that I own. I also have tweezers and extra eyelash curler bands. So they tend to be lost very easily. So it's always nice to like have a nice little place for all of my sharpeners. So in this drawer right here, I have all of my drugstore foundations, um, some sugar ones, lotus, rimmel, um, yeah, lots of Maybelline, Lacme, L'Oreal, sugar, and yeah, the Nika ones. Right next to it, I have all of my setting powders. And this one is kind of in a mess. And here is everything. Um, that's the Patrick Star MAC one. Um, I think this is the head of the Benefit one right here. I've got some sugar, Maybelline Fit Me, Huda Beauty. Um, so this is like a mix of drugstore and high-end everything um, right here. So that's the setting powder. Then underneath that, I have all of my setting spray. So that's the Urban Decay one, Morphe, MAC, um, lots of the Smashbox ones. Yeah, so everything is in here. And underneath that, I have my primers. So I have all of these in here, the Smashbox one, the Dior one, the MAC, Persali, Sugar, Lacme, Rimmel, some Maybelline, Makeup Forever. Um, oh, it's my Faclar duo. What's it doing here? Um, some Sugar ones. Uh, that's the Glam Glow one. Yeah, so everything is here. Underneath that, I have all of my sheet masks. And in here, I have like some random things. Here, I have all of my face masks. And then, here we have my lipsticks. So these are all of the high-end ones. 
these are the smashbox always on liquid lipsticks uh, these are the huda beauty ones um estee lauder uh, bobby brown uh, i have some urban uh this is the two faced one got some urban decay one uh some more estee lauder uh, my tom ford ones some chanel um yeah so these are all of the high-end lipsticks in here then this is where i have all of my matte lipsticks uh, these are the retro mattes uh, the special edition limited edition ones the normal ones um, some more in here as well and uh, these dividers are from like random places you can get them at so many different places nowadays um so yeah and these in here inside that bag i have the entire love me collection that i haven't taken out then i have these in here uh these are the bobby brown um crushed liquid lips uh smashbox liquid metal sugar uh, metal liquids uh the huda beauty ones um some this is kiko some bobby brown uh this is nyx uh some more sugar and then these are a random anastasia ones um got one cat bondi yeah all this is a jeffree star lipstick yeah and that's malvika's driver's seat mini and what else yeah i've got some oh that's my uh, pillow talk from charlotte tilbury uh some of my nude lipsticks are there uh the huda beauty mini one then the clinique and i have some hair accessories here here we have more lipsticks so these are like all of my lip glosses and lip tints like the face shop ones that's the nars um metallic lip gloss i've got the two faced one um some face shop lip tints in the back uh some sugar lip pencils uh, in here i've got a color color bar uh lip palette this is a maybelline lip palette uh some more sponges in here uh these are the lacme lipsticks that i have some more sugar um lipstick this is the plush crush creme crayon collection these are the rimmel extreme finish lipsticks um more lipstick uh more sugar maybelline mix of sugar maybelline nika l'oreal so all of the drugstore ones are here this is like a new brand that had launched an indian brand 2502 so all of the shades are there some nika lipsticks all of my drugstore ones here then we've got my lip pencils in there uh, some more collections there that's the rimmel ones uh, color bars some l'oreal um milani body shop sugar lacme um sugar l'oreal nika these are like my chubby lipsticks in here all of the lipsticks in stick forms basically whatever i could fit uh, these are um the lacme 95 ones in here yeah like all of the random drugstore ones are here lots of body shop milani yeah so that's this drawer and then underneath that i have all of my hair appliances all right so that's all of these drawers yeah and these are skincare that i'm going to do a separate video because half of the skincare are here and half of them are in the washroom so i'm going to do a separate video on them also there are some more um eyeliners here these are the color bar colorful ones and some urban decay ones in there and all of my tools and yeah all right you guys that's all of the makeup that i have and i know it's a lot um but it's something that i have collected over the years 
because uh, please remember that I do receive quite a lot of PR packages and you do not need this much makeup in your life okay um, it's just something that I do for a living and I'm very passionate about it's something that I collect and buy a lot as well when I'm traveling or even here there are certain collections that I really like um, and I have been doing this for like eight years now so and this collection right now is a result of me decluttering when I moved my apartment this video is not me trying to show off or anything in any way so please don't feel um, in any like don't feel in those direction uh, but I really hope you guys enjoyed my makeup collection video I was I, I was really hesitant on doing this for some reason but a lot of you asked um, so yeah that's it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it and um, I hope you're all safe and sound and um, sending you so much love and positivity if you guys haven't watched my previous video um, please go do so it's uh, a makeup challenge where I answer some of your questions as well so um, I feel like I did a good job answering your questions so please go watch that I'm gonna link it down below as well and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video Bye!